Good morning. How are you doing? Today is July 16th. It is right now about 8.15, roughly. Um, it's my birthday. I'm officially 43 as of today. And I am doing nothing to celebrate it. Uh, I'm doing nothing because, well, this week Connie's at an event. So she's in Orlando. Uh, Mackenzie's still on tour. And Gigi started band camp this week. So I'm home all day by myself with nothing to do but work. So now I do have a gap in time. So we are working out today. And yes, today will be my final run. We're going to do that later today before I go to dinner. And I'm, uh, I'm going to dinner and I don't even care about where I'm going. Uh, Gigi has always wanted, she, she's loved Pizza Hut pizza. And I can say this out loud now because she's not here to hear it. Gigi loves Pizza Hut pizza. I don't know why. Like, I used to work at Pizza Hut. I know how it's made. There's so much oil, so much sodium, so much salt in that dough and under the pan of a pan pizza that, I don't know, like, nowadays, like, you, I pick it up and I just, like, I can, you can taste all the oils and grease and it, it's just you know yeah it's salty and you're cool it makes you crave more and more but it's just not good okay but she loves pizza hut pizza well there's a pizza hut actual like sit-in restaurant indoor sit-in restaurant she's never been to one she's never been to a like when we grew up a pizza hut where you go in sit down with a, you know checkered tablecloth and shit um so we found that there is one. There's a couple actually, uh, you know, within a few miles of the house. So tonight, I'm actually since it's just me and her, I'm taking Gigi to dinner at Pizza Hut. Not my place of choice, but what else am I, you know, what else am I going to do? Make a cake for myself. So uh, we're not doing anything special for my birthday today. However, in because I know she's going to watch this video, she's going to feel bad. Mackenzie is coming to San Antonio through San Antonio on her tour like they do every year uh, and so she'll be in town it's right now it's Tuesday they get here late Thursday night she'll be practicing Friday up at one of the high schools that she always does her camps at they have a show on Saturday and then after the show she gets to come home and they have a day off on Sunday so but since she it's a home show for her officially now uh she gets to come home sleep in her bed we're gonna do laundry with her right we will celebrate my birthday probably sunday before she goes back to the high we have to take her back to the high school and do that so we'll celebrate this weekend i'm not upset about it you know it is what it is it's not the first birthday that i haven't been that you know that i've been alone for won't be the last one i'm sure of it but it is you know like it's Eight, 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 almost 8.20 or so in the morning. Um, I have to get started with my day. Um, I don't have any meetings until 9, but I have to go like take care of the animals and feed the dog. Well, the, Thor's not eating his food. He's sad or something. But I have to feed the cats, water the trees, feed the guinea pigs, let Kenzie cat out, let Kenzie's cat out of her room, and, and so on. And then there's a gap this afternoon where we'll get our workouts in. Uh, like I said, it tastes chest and back. You know, it's the last week of this phase of the Dig Deeper workout program that I'm doing. Um, I was kind of hoping for a new low weigh-in today because it would have been awesome, like a low weigh-in on my birthday, but that didn't happen. It is what it is. Um, for some reason, yesterday I was two pounds lower than I am today, and yeah, I was really strict with my nutrition yesterday, and I, for some reason, gained two pounds. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I don't understand, you know whatever we'll talk about my workout stack that i that i've switched up since the last time i talked about what supplements i was using um and we'll go from there but we'll do the run before my, my final run before i go to dinner i think it's 45 or 60 minutes it's going to be in the heat it's going to be a hot hot run i think temperatures are going to be in the 90s at that point but say la vie in uh, i'll explain why with the scheduling later, um, right now I have to get things rolling before I don't have time and everyone's pissed off at me for delaying the 
for feeding of everybody. So I'll catch up with you later, at probably closer to the work, the, the weight workout. All right, it is right now 1238, and I don't have a meeting for another two hours. So I'm gonna get my workout in now. So let me get my pre-workout and we'll talk about what the workout is and so on. Okay, so two scoops of energized pre-workout. I've tried, like I said, you know, you've heard me say this before. I've tried a bunch of pre-workouts on the market. Energize is by far my favorite. I understand it's a beach body product. It's it's an MLM product. Don't buy MLM stuff, cause uh, whatever. This is still by far my favorite pre-workout. Not because I sell it, not because I get a commission for selling it. Okay, but. It's got, for me, two scoops, 200 milligrams caffeine, 1600 milligrams beta alanine. It's got a couple other BA, uh, BCAAs, um, you know, not really BCAAs, but it's got, shit, I can, uh, shit. I wish I could see this. Okay, so pre-workout stack is two scoops of energized pre-workout from Beachbody. And I know someone's gonna say, yeah, it's a Beachbody, it's an MLM product. They suck, blah, blah. Look, I've tried a bunch of pre-workouts in my day. 43 years old, I've been lifting on and off since I'm 18. This is by far my favorite pre-workout. It's got two, two scoops, it's 200 milligrams of caffeine, 1600 milligrams of beta alanine. It's got a little bit of sodium electrolytes in there so you, you don't go uh, crazy. And it's got, let me see if I can read this. Quercetin, oh shit, I can't, I can't read this, sorry. I can't read this, but it is got a bunch of good ingredients. And the best part is, it doesn't matter how late I take it. I've taken this at nine o'clock at night to get ready for a 9.30 workout. By 11.30, I'm in bed sleeping peacefully. Other pre-workouts I've tried, I, if, if you take it past five o'clock, you are, you are not sleeping well that night. Your anxiety is gonna be kicked up. And this goes for Ghost, this goes for uh, BPN Flight, this goes for uh, Raw, not Raw, but um, Beyond Raw, right? This goes for a couple others that I've tried. I don't even remember which ones I've tried, but if, you, you know, if you've taken it after like a certain hour, you're not sleeping well. This, I've taken this, and, and this is no shit, I've taken this four, up to four times a day. Up to four times in a day, and I've slept peacefully that night, okay? Yes, you get the itches you get from the beta alanine. It goes away fairly quickly. You don't get like this crazy hyper burst, but you know, it's, you know you're getting some kind of energy burst from it. Your workouts are always strong, your workouts are always powerful, but you feel good doing it, and then it calms down. Okay, and then of course the other one scoop of creatine. Uh, I said I was gonna go and get uh, a five milligram creatine monohydrate supplement. I did, I happened to grab BPN's creatine. It doesn't matter what kind of, what brand of creatine monohydrate you get. As long as it's creatine monohydrate, you are good, you're good to go. It is the most tested uh, and most beneficial supplement aside from sodium that you will ever ever utilize and yes even as a, an endurance athlete trying to cut weight creatine is still is in my uh pre-workout sack so i'm gonna drink this and i'm gonna go upstairs and get this workout in it is chest and back today 
Uh, and it, it's the last time I had to do this particular one. And I'm kind of thankful. Like, it, it's, it's solid, but it's, I don't know, I feel like it's lacking something. And I'm not going to review the whole workout or the whole program as of yet. I still have another two months to go. But if you wanted me to review what I've done so far, it's great if you're just getting into lifting, bodybuilding. It's a great entry level program. Is this something that I would use if I was trying to get to the stage? And I would, you know, no, probably not. But. What do I know? I've never, clearly never been near a stage. But I do know it's, it's just missing something. So let me drink this and I'll see you upstairs. Okay, we're upstairs. I realized just now that I've been rambling to myself out loud about a whole bunch of ideas that I've been having in my head for about 10 minutes. So right now it's 1.11. I have a meeting at 2.30, so I have to get this 50 minute workout done now so that I can at least change my shirt and look presentable on camera. Even though I don't have to be on camera for that one, I don't think. But just in case, I have to be presentable and calm down and like not red in the face, not breathing heavy, not sweaty or nothing like that going into that meeting. So here's the workout I got, right? The program, dig deeper. This is Beachbody On Demand. So this is my fitness library. So these are my three, three of my favorite workouts all, of all time. And we're doing chest and back. Now the way this workout is situated is it is a bunch of supersets. So you'll do, it's antagonistic muscles, so you'll do a chest workout, a chest exercise, and then a back exercise. And you'll do one of the, something similar. So, like for example, I think the first one is, you'll do chest press, flat bench, right? You'll do flat press with dumbbells, three, set, set of 12, slow on the down, explode on the up. Then you'll get up, you'll grab, you'll change your weights obviously, and you'll do uh, bent over rows with dumbbells, okay? Again, slow when you pull and then, or fast when you pull, slow when you release. You'll do that three times. Then you'll do another superset, then another superset, and then I think I think there's a fourth superset with this particular one. I'll show you clips. I'm not gonna show you, the, you know, everything. Like, I'm not gonna show you every set, but I'll show you at least every exercise in this one. And then there's a dig deeper moment, which I'm probably not gonna do because time and I just don't wanna do it, but that's, that's today's workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play just so I have you know the tempo and the, 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 and the cues behind me. I'm gonna set this over on that corner of the ledge right there. Right there. That's where I'll set it. And I'll just record. I'm gonna keep the camera fairly static. I'm not gonna go and move it around and try to get fun angles. I don't have the time for that shit. So. Here is chest and back, dig deeper, phase two, time under tension, three sets of 12 on every superset. Three, two, one. And just like that, we are done working out. So I, it is right now, oh, let me stop my watch. I'm using my triathlon watch to track this. 
just to have record on my training peaks that I've been doing my workouts. I really don't care about the calorie burn or how long it takes. <clears throat> I'm just tracking this to track my activity on training peaks during all of this. So it is what it is. I mean, this said only 305 calories burned, but it was resistance training. So technically you're not supposed to, you're not gonna get a huge calorie burn. It's not like I, I and I did an hour. If I did an hour of cardio, I'd be almost three times what I burned right now. Uh, for a run. So don't worry about your calorie burn during weight training. Focus on contracting the muscles, squeezing the muscles, doing all that stuff. It's gonna make you stronger. Stronger will help you get leaner, more muscle, more, more your body's burning calories. Um, although it's not, a, it's not as big of a calorie burn as people say it is. You know, one pound of muscle, which could take anywhere from four to eight weeks, depending on how old you are and what you're doing and how your nutrition is. One, one pound of lean tissue burns like six to ten calories a day so for you want to work six weeks for that 10 calorie burn anyway so i mean but you really want to build muscle it's going to help you be stronger be leaner uh, which is going to help you get faster which is going to help you just swim better which is going to help you bike better run better all those things you know and just live better it's going to help your health overall so right now it's i don't even know what time it is 210, I'm gonna go change my shirt real quick, get ready for this 2.30 meeting with the cybersecurity team from our corporate side of the house, and then I have a 3.30 meeting with my boss and our leadership team, and then I'm on my way to go get Gigi, because it's almost four o'clock, and she is, she'll be done with Ben camp by the time I get there. So, chest and back, week eight of Dig Deeper. Uh, Decent program. If you've never lifted weights like this, you know, it's it's a definitely a good way to get started. But I'm gonna go, if you have questions about it, comment below. Uh, and I'm gonna go change and eat, grab something to eat real quick before I go work out. Okay, so it is now 3.38. I am in the car getting ready to go get Gigi while taking my last meeting of the day on my work phone, which is right there gonna be plugged into the overhead so I can drive hands-free and still be on the leadership meeting so when I get back from picking up Gigi I'll do the run we'll talk about the final run what the final run means why it's the final run and uh, yeah then like I said when I wrap up this video you'll understand so I'm gonna go get G I have to drive 30 minutes for her school to get there and then uh, yeah I'll, I'll be back We'll go sweat this out. Right now it is 100 degrees on the right, on the, the car thermometer, thermostat. It's 100 degrees outside, probably upper 90s anyway. Feels like 112 most likely. I'll screen, when I run, I'll screenshot the current weather situation and we will go from there. But I'll see you when I get ready to run. We're about to go out for this run right now. 96 degrees, feels like 99. And if you scroll and look at the humidity, the humidity is at a whopping, oh, you probably can't see that. Anyway, I'll show you, I'll screenshot it. It says 34%. So the humidity is at 34%, 96 degrees, feels like 99. We're about to go on the final run. <gasps> but is it the final run? Okay, so it's not really the final run. Um, I'm definitely, why would I start a, call, a project called Project Boston if it was the final run? However, this 60 minute run will be the final run for those hokas. Okay, the, I did the math the other day. I was wondering why my, feet were getting sore, my ankles were sore, my knees were sore, my shins were sore. I did the math, my, these shoes have seen over 400 miles of distance of road running 
two mar well, a marathon Ironman training. So I ordered new shoes last week. They'll be here in the next couple days. But I'm gonna do 60 more minutes on these shoes and then these shoes are officially retired from running. They will transition to my walk around shoes. So let's go ahead and get these 60 minutes on the road. I'm gonna try for 60. I may only get 45. It's, it's pretty hot out, but we're going tarpless. So that's that. I'm gonna put the camera inside before I go. I'm gonna go run, I'm not gonna report on the run, and I'll be back. We'll summarize it, go to dinner, and then hopefully tomorrow my shoes get here and I can wrap up this video with the new footwear reveal. All right, so I got 50 of my 60 minutes that I was wanting to do. Heart rate was starting to get up in the upper 160s, low 170s again. So I was like, I'm close enough to being done, it's hot. I'm, gonna call, I'm just gonna end it and walk home and relax and cool down. Uh, I'll post a run here so you guys can see what I did. 50 minutes and changed like 14 seconds or something. And it is, uh, it is it's warm. You know, the humidity, I, I was going pretty quick, a lot quicker than normal. Uh, Cause the lack of humidity made, made it feel so much easier to run. But uh, the sweat in my eyes was definitely huge, you know. This thing only only does so much. The halo bands, it only catches so much sweat before it starts saturating. And then even that little rubber gutter, don't do shit. Just runs right in your eyes. So anyway, I'm about four houses from home, three houses from home. I'm gonna go in, shower, and take Gigi out to dinner. That's gonna be it for today. I'll pick up tomorrow. Hopefully my shoes get here and we can retire those. I'll see you in the next clip. All right, so after the morning I've had, this is actually the best news. It is only Wednesday. It's 12-11. This came about an hour ago. Uh, it's the 17th, just so you know. So yesterday was my birthday, the day uh, I got it. So these are the new shoes that we have, at least for this marathon training block. And again, yesterday was the last, the final run in those other hokas. So this, okay, so these are the good ones. These are the ones I, I'm, these are my daily trainers. So I had to order the Clifton nines. Uh, it was between Clifton and Bondi. They didn't have the Rincons on the website. Although newsflash, as of recording this, they sent an email that they just today released the Rincon fours. Kind of pissed off about it because I would have got those. But I got the Clifton nines instead. Now this colorway is, I don't even remember what the colorway is. It's like something lemonade or something like that. So, ooh, these are light. So here's the Clifton Nines, and it's got like the little lemonade and like the, look at the heel like down here. It's all freckled. Um, it's kind of fun. It's yellow. It's freckly, but you know the inside's yellow and green and stuff. So these are the new daily trainers. So I'm really looking forward to my first run with these tomorrow. These are the new race shoe. Now these, I wanted something, this is just for racing. I wanted something that's just for racing. So these are the Mach X shoes. And I forget the colorway on this one, but these are the new Hoka Mach Xs. And I think this is their carbon shoe. So these are gonna be my race shoes for the marathon. For any marathon, any 5K that we run, any 10K, any official race that we run, 
these are going to be the shoe daily trainer for right now are these uh, the Clifton nines and then as we get into more and more training we'll get more and more shoes so that's where we're at right now so glad these came today because I needed that little pick me up but I'm gonna end the vlog here um, yeah so again we have we have plenty of time until the first race day uh, there's a lot coming up travel wise summer wise that i'm not starting official training until after the travel is done for the year uh, so mid august will probably be when we officially start adding some speed work into the plan for now it's just it's, we're going to continue with zone two we're going to continue adding volume like this weekend's run is a little over eight miles uh, on uh I'll probably do it Sunday. I maybe do it Saturday morning. I don't know. Uh, but either way, you know, we're at a little over almost eight, eight and a half miles this week. You know, we have a down. You know, next week we had a down week last week. Uh, last week we only did five. So we're building mo a mileage up in there. And I think the goal for right now is to get my mileage, my long run mileage, up to it. I think the schedule to hit like closer to twelve by the time we officially kick into marathon gear, which is great because I'm trying to get, I think my last long run, I looked at, I, I wrote it on my own plan. Um, I'm gonna try for like just over 19, but at, right before we hit taper. So I think Thanksgiving, the week before Thanksgiving is a planned 19.25 mile run or something like that. So we'll figure it out. We're gonna retest our zones after it's all said and done. We're gonna hit the track in a couple weeks to get some speed work in. We're gonna do some tempos, we're gonna do some intervals. Um, we're really gonna, we're really kicking shit into high gear and thankfully it hasn't been too hot. It's been in the uh, upper 90s, but this time last year was like mid, mid 100, 105, 106s. So we're okay. We're gonna keep doing what we do. Um, again, my morning runs are basically gone now, so I'm gonna be running in the afternoons. But I am gonna end this here. Um, like, subscribe comment uh, and I will see you in the next video.